Okay, so I took the things that came with the DAP node to where I work. This is my living room, this is my desk. Um, that's where I have uh, the, the router, the cable box, and things like that. So I put here the DAP node, the ethernet cable that would go connected to the router and the, the feed of the electricity that goes to the wall. This is the transformer. So as you can see, in any home or office, the DAP node would fit perfectly well aesthetically. I mean, it's a small box. It has incredible capacity. It's, in a, it's a super computer in a small box. So now I'm gonna have, from now on, I'm gonna have my, my nodes that I run for ETC, uh, my router for, for, for the, the internet, Wi-Fi, this is the, the cable box, that's my TV. So this is going to be the, the uh, I guess, the, the device and, and the router and internet and, and media center of my home and where I'm going to run an ETC node permanently. So the first thing that you need to do then is to connect the DAP node to, to the router. So you get the device, you turn it around and you connect the ethernet where it goes to the correct port. And then you get your router. I use Cox, they give, give us this, this router, but all routers that all internet providers give for home have um, a port for ether. There, it has two, ethernet one, ethernet two. Actually just as a, as a anecdotal data point, so I connect this, connected so we turn around the, the router as an anecdotal point ethereum and ethereum classic are, are named after that concept of ether the ethernet is it's, it's it was a theoretical gas that existed or um field that existed where everything existed on top in in the universe and i don't know why they called it for the internet as well so it's connected. Now we're going to connect the transformer. So for that, we get the cable that goes. I already connected the cable to the transformer. So now I'm gonna connect this cable to the wall. I'm gonna move the transformer closer so it doesn't look bad in my apartment. And just put it here where all the other cables are and the end that goes to provide the feed of electricity to the DAP node. I'm gonna pass it back here. I go to the front, I get it. I pass it behind the little devices that are here. And now that's where the electricity goes into the DAP node. I just plug in strong. Yeah, it's connected. As you can see now, the power button turned blue and what you have to do is to press it for five seconds more or less. Oh no, I turned it off. It was on, okay. So you press it, you turn it, if it's blue, then it's because it's on. And that, it, that it's on, there's a light here that is going to um, start to blink this. It means that the DAP node is booting. And, um, and that's it. You, you have your DAP node connected at home or office. And um, now in the next, uh, a video and you're in, in the post if, if you want to read it I'm going to explain how to log in to your DAP node this because it's connected to to your router it's automatically now part of your local Wi-Fi so you're going to see it in your computer you're gonna be able to connect directly to the DAP node and you're gonna see on, on your browser uh, how to operate it how to download the, the Ethereum classic nodes for the mainnet and um, the testnet. 
and all the other things.